You go and you buy some stuff. How much stuff are you going to get? And it's hidden behind the veil of gratitude. It's hidden behind the veil of giving. It's hidden behind the veil of spirituality. But it's really the consumer season the season of consumption, how many things you buy, how many things you consume, right? Because imagine if none of that was a part of this, then how would you celebrate it? How would you celebrate, I guess you could say, October through the end of the year? Because it begins with part one where your true nature is coming out, but no one sees it because it's hidden behind makeup or a mask. And then you move into part two, which is, I haven't given thanks all year. Let me do it right now. And then you move into part three, the final portion where, okay, now let me exchange a gift to someone that the consumer season. Yeah. Now let's look at this because, okay, it's feel good. It's that feel good thing. The idea of this end of October through the end of the year you know, feeling good and sharing and loving. Yeah, the theme of it, that's good. Yeah. The execution, I'm not so sure. Because why would it be promoted that you should wait until this time to do the things that you probably should do all year long? The sentiment is good. It, the idea is great. But why are you waiting until the end? What? Why is it not? I'm, I'm, of course, this have historical influences. You know, there's a lot. This goes back centuries, right? But I think of the modern age in terms of this. I think of today and what it potentially should morph into. And maybe it will because a lot of people this season don't really necessarily have the financial input in order to engage the way that they normally would. Some people don't even care and they're just going to do it and they'll be damn near broke by the end. And there's some people that haven't been affected by it at all. But economists have said that this is going to be one of the most challenging uh, seasons here in 2021 as I release this episode. But the idea is great in terms of giving and sharing and loving and gatherings. That's good stuff. But let's look at the breakdown of all of this because you have what? You have family. Okay, great. Gathering of family. Could this be done all year long? Some families do this. Some families do this. Whether you have a large one or a small one, whether it's done through phone calls or whatever the case may be, it could be something that's done all throughout the year. Imagine if one day a month it was promoted to do that and our system would adhere to this. One day a month, it's promoted and pushed or encouraged that you do that. One day a month. Okay. What's the other thing? Work. So you're given vacation time, depending on where you work, because some people work through this season. Uh, I remember what that was like, and it's interesting to see it from that lens because you're working while everyone is gathering and doing what they do. But, of course, if there was a system that adhered to the idea of the family gathering, then the system would accommodate that because I think, what is it, in other regions, they have a shutdown. They have the siesta. I think it's in Spain, I think it is, where everything is shut down so that you can take a nap. I think, I don't know if they still do this, but I've heard stories about it. So then going back to the system, that's how you would support this idea of the one day per month gathering of families, big or small. Okay. Now, of course, you're thinking, well, wait, we're going to need certain things. Certain things need to be open because we need access to certain activities, restaurants, theaters, or whatever it is. We're going to need somebody to work at these places. Well, if the system supports this, then it supports this for everyone, right? And somehow, some way, it would work. There's a way, at least in my mind, I think. Let's move on. Spirituality. Uh-oh. I remember back in the days when I used to go to church, and always in December, you would see people that 
you hadn't seen all year <laughs> show up. <laughs> you haven't seen them all year, but December. Oh, yeah, they're there. In large numbers, that was the one time that you would see a full congregation with the regulars and the people who are non-regulars. The connection to the spirit during December. That's the only time when you really want to stay in alignment. That's it. So the other 11 months, you're not getting in alignment, but you do it in December. Again, couldn't this be done all year long? I would think that these ideas that are the essence of this season, the ideas, the, the theme, is something that should be pushed all year long. How much of an impact would that have, especially here in the States, if that was the goal? Spiritual connections or meditation practices in schools and workplaces, one day of family gatherings, large or small, one day per month, strangers and treating them well. That's another one. Between the months of November to the end of the year, the strangers that you would normally ignore, you say, you know what? Let me help them out. Oh, yeah, we're giving out turkeys today. Oh, yeah, let's go give over here. Let's be of service over here. Yeah. So, the, again, the ideas of this, very good. The execution, I don't know. Maybe this needs to evolve to something else. Of course, it, that might even be forced because, again, some people might not be able to do the things that they were normally able to do. And then you have Black Friday. Consumption. The consumer season. What is it really about? Are you really thankful or are you doing it just because everybody else is doing it? Are you really a giving person or are you doing it just because it's the season that says you're supposed to do it? Right. Well, if it's promoted all year long, if it's encouraged all year long, then you'll have that person that maybe normally isn't that way begin to adopt it as second nature. Yeah, it becomes the thing to do always. It's not an occasion that I have to wait for or that you have to wait for because you're the recipient of this high quality treatment. You don't have to wait. It's just this natural thing that occurs January until the end of the year. 365. There it is. I think that's far more compelling than just everybody waiting until now to be thankful and have gratitude or to be joyful or high vibrational. I'm not sure how high it will be this year, 2021, because it's still rough out there for a lot of people, especially in finance and all these price spikes, but that's an entirely different discussion. Something to think on. Something to potentially consider. You know, this idea of not just being of service, but the vibration of it all. The vibration of it all, because it's a high vibration. You think of last year with 2020, what was the vibration of 2020 from March all the way to the end? Fear and death. Fear and death. That was the overall vibration. The overall vibration. That's a very heavy vibration being thought of by so many people. And what did it do? You saw people losing their lives, didn't you? A lot of stress and tension and people just falling off, falling off, falling off. You're hearing about people transitioning and you're like, what? Wait, how? What? Yeah. Fear and death all in 2020. That's the impact of the vibration that's coming off of people. So usually between early November all the way to the end, the vibration goes up a little bit, goes up, it goes up. You still have your tensions and arguments and, you know, that sort of thing. But there's a vibration that elevates just a little, especially from those who don't do it usually. And so there's a high note, right? Now, take that same thing and stretch it over the entire course of the year. Stretch it out. What a different place. We'd be in a total, we would experience things totally differently. It would be an entirely different experience if that idea was pushed, if that was incorporated into the practice, if it no longer became about consumption and the things that you go out there and get, 
the things that you give to the things that you receive from, yeah, if that's eliminated, throw that out. It's just about the high vibration that's going on. Now, of course, you have those who love this because it puts them in position to give to those who have not. That's great. But again, year round changes it because now those who don't have end up having. Uh, Because it's year round. The vibration is always high. There is no low vibration. It changes every, it changes the ball game. There's no low vibration. If this is practiced year round, hmm, whether it's here in your mind or in your actions, of course, there's two because you act on the things here, but it's a combination of both. If you're constantly thinking high vibration, this thing that you wait to do now If that's constantly done and you're giving elevation everywhere you go, look at the impact that that creates with yourself, with those around you, with the people you talk to, with the strangers you pass. Everywhere you go, you're taking this thing that people wait to do, spread it, boom. 